What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Scrap Garden. We're gonna jump into this. Last episode we took on the squid boss. And uh, yeah, we were right here in the swamp. Ooh, spiders. A spider. A spider. Ooh. Doesn't look good. Let's go where there's the most. Hi. Oh, it doesn't come at me. What the fuck? Okay, well, that kind of blew me up. Oh, 60. You bastards. Okay, so we gotta do a thing before we can do a thing. I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you little spider bitch. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Ah, shit, didn't even see him. I'm almost dead. Open. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so we can go to here. And to here. Okay, good. This thing doesn't sink. Uh, getting back might pose a problem. Nah, we're fine. I'm MLG Pro, man. I know what I'm doing. Alright, so, head back over this way. At least we know where we have and haven't been based off of whatever they got here. Doing. Hehe. <laughs> Take it deep. Ooh, spider. Hey, hey. That's right. Uh huh, 52. We only need eight more. So if we were to go this way. I wonder if you can fall through the cracks there. Don't know. Don't want to find out. Whoa. Almost found out there. If that was even a thing. Yeah. What the hell is this? We need a... Barrel? TNT? A helmet? Shoes? I don't know. Okay, so we gotta, more than likely, gotta complete one thing to be able to do another thing. Uh, but it looks like we can go this way. Just kind of make sure we keep our wits about us. Oh yeah, we got the 60 we need. Oh, look at this craziness here. Boing. Okay. So there is one. Oh, shit. Triple stop. Yeah. Oh, got a fourth one. Hey. Oh, it's right behind the thing. Gotcha. Okay. We're in the clear. Can I make it up top? Not from there. Oh, we can open this. And this. Oh, what the fuck was that? That's bullshit. Oh, that's not fair, man. They set me up for failure there. Uh, yeah, I knew we'd be able to do this. Okay, and I know we got over our 60, but you never know. It might be like, oh, by the way, you need 40 for another one. That was bullshit, man. How dare they do that to me? Put a spider in a chest. Seriously, what kind of spider lives in a chest? Oh, actually, never mind. A lot of them do. I have friends who are spiders, and they live in chests. And... Go. I think we're going back this way. Yeah. And we go off to the right. We gotta seriously find. Uh, wait, did we open this? Uh, can't I get this? <laughs> Normally they just come out at me. Okay. Now we got this one last one to do. What's over here? Mm, please don't be a spider. Oh, yeah, that's right, dick. Eat it. <laughs> I like how he's got the little headlight on. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, we got our wrench. Thank goodness. Okay, that was, uh, that was worth it. Come on, give me... Wow, that's stupid. See, normally they get drawn to me, but for some reason, those guys weren't. What the hell is that? A pumpkin? Oh, maybe that was the thing that we needed. Okay, so that quite possibly could be the thing that we needed. 
kind of only seems like the only logical thing. Wink and oh, bit of a lag spike. Oh, come on, just give me the damn things. I shouldn't have to climb inside the chest. And what else we got going on over here? Any other creepy shit? Not that I can see. But hello there. Hey. My name is Dr. Brown. In order to overcome the power crisis, we created a laboratory where we're going to conduct a series of experiments to study the properties of power crystals drawing the energy from the outside world. Oh. Interesting. So, can I go in your laboratory? Do I need this thing? Maybe that's the thing I needed and not the pumpkin. Holy shit, where'd you come from? Ow. Okay. Let's go back, because you know we gotta go back a little ways before we can go to where we are. Go. Uh, I think. Come on, jump. There it is. Is it this way? Yes. So we got the 60. Alright. Oh shit, okay. Screw you. I don't need you. I need this. Okay, so we got the uh, air filter or whatever the hell that is. Sorry, Dr. Brown. I didn't mean to just chuck you away, but you're not important. Uh, was it here? No. It's this one. So we got to go here, down and around. Whoa, careful. Jump. Jump. I wonder if I can have a big boss fight. And... Yeah, yeah. That's how you get the doors open. Okay, so now we go back to where we came from. We saw Dr. Brown. Hopefully we don't need him to get in because I kind of chucked him inside the water. Uh, I think we go back this way. And this way. Um, not that way, so it'd have to be this way. There we go. Okay, we're on track. We know where we're going. We know what we're doing. We got this. We got this. No more spiders, right? Good. Leave me alone. Oh, creepy music. Now we're in trouble. Whoa, what is you? Nothing. Okay, we can't go out there because, uh, wow, surprisingly, there's a tree blocking our way. Uh, no spiders? No? Okay, we're good. Nothing here. Really? Come on. Should have given me some sort of a hidden Easter egg or something. Well, I guess we're going inside the house. Okay, so we need a key for there. And we're back on moving slow and having a linear camera. Look at how slow he is. Okay. You guys don't know my r golden rule of thumb. Always go left. Because <laughs> you can see it pays off most. Oh, wait. Since we're here. Ugh, I knew it. Oh, come on. I jumped on his stupid ass. There you go. Come through here. Ugh. What was it? All right. Whatever. We've synthesized the first yellow crystal. Unfortunately, the crystal radiates only a small amount of energy in the form of light. As a side effect, it also affects the weather. It seems we wasted our time with this one. All right. So day twenty-five makes rain or snow or sunny. We don't know what kind of weather, just affects the weather, that's all we know. Okay, we're fine. We got this. Ain't no flying. Ready? Spider! Moo. They got me good now, man. I'm gonna be so twitchy when it comes to this shit. Mm. Watch, they'll put one in the... Uh... Ah, rat! They'll put one inside a box or some shit like that. And if it wasn't for the squeak, I probably wouldn't have moved. I got the key. No, I don't. 
Okay. There you go. See, look at me using my brain powers and stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay, we got the key. We're doing pretty good. We're still going to go upstairs, though. I don't know if we're going to fall through the floor like we did on the left side, but might as well go up and check it before we start opening doors and shit. So let's go up here. I mean, worst case scenario, we're going to get a few more of these things. Alright, so that was it. Can't open that, so I guess we're going to open the door. But don't... Meh. Okay, so far so good. Jump! Ah, look at me, I'm a table dancer. Oh yeah, previous lives. Life as a robot stripper! God damn! See, robot strippers. We know what we're doing, man. Okay. What the hell was with that lightning strike, man? It scared the shit out of me. Why is there an apple tree in the house? We'll never know. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I could open that. Okay. And... Uh, see, look. <laughs> you guys thought I was stupid. Like, dude, it's not going to happen again, all right? Just chill out. Relax. I'm taking this bucket with me. Oh, I got a 1500 achievement. See, I don't know what it is, but I'm just somewhat attracted to tables. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Yeah. Oh, I heard it. Yeah, see, it didn't even see it. I'm just like, uh uh, I know it's there. Ooh, ooh. Okay, we got all those. Uh -huh. Stupid thing. Can I use this? Uh, uh. Uh, close enough. Yeah. Alright, we're good, we're good. Uh, wait, can't open that? No. Can't open that. What about these boxes? No. Nope, they don't do anything. Uh, but... You, no? You, no? Nothing? Huh. I really would have thought I would have been able to do something here, but... Guess not. Alright, let's get the hell out of here and we'll open up the other door. Hopefully get our asses out of the creepy house and into a nice creepy closet. Oh shit! Oh, we need 40, and guess what? We nailed it. Hey, I took 44. You ripped me off, you son of a bitch. I want back my four little ruby things. Oh, wait. Quarter to uh, midnight? Okay, wait. Yeah, pull the lever, buddy. Once that hits 12. <sighs> Uh-oh. Oh, we done screwed up now. Hey! And the trees are all like, hey, I'm invincible and can go through walls, but... And I'm outside because, eh, you don't have to go all the way back through that. And look at how fast we go now. Yeah. Day 66. Hey. We have fused a beautiful red specimen. The crystal radiates intense energy, which is highly suitable for transmitting over long distances, and thus may be used for data transfer. It's too early to rush to any conclusions, but it seems to be just what we need. Yay! Can we get in here? Okay, always gotta check, man. You never know what this game's thinking, what you gotta do, who you're gonna run into, what kind of friends you're gonna be around. Whoa, oh boy, oh damn it. Okay. Oh, almost dead, but I think we got this. Oh, didn't even see him. Okay, we got a nice little junkyard here. At least we have a safe spot to jump if we have any creatures come at us. I don't know about you, but that looks like a boss fight. You see that little red light there in the corner? You guys saw that, right? Looks like some creepy ass shit gonna be coming up. Look. Look! It's a freaking lizard! You son of a bitch! Day 78. 
Red Crystal's performance indicators under load are incredible. Oh, yeah. The process of remote transmission of energy is stable. Apart from that, the crystal proved to be an effective data carrier. Sweet. As a side effect, lab rats demonstrated increased aggression within the radiation field. Oh. We call this phenomenon red eye effect. Uh huh, that explains the stupid ass rats that have been coming at us. Do I have to fight you? Oh, it's a frog! Okay, so he can't see me back here. We're fine. Shh, don't tell anyone. So, if I was me, and I am, I would think I would have to go this way since I can't go the other way. So we go over here. Oh, and he follows me. Uh huh. Oh, got the spikes. Oh, what the fuck? Wow, okay, I was not expecting that. I was expecting them to do something else to me, but. Okay. Well, at least now I know what's going down. Yeah, yeah. And he's quick, too, so. I'm fucking around. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, go, go. Go. Nailed it. Oh shit. Oh, he follows me. He must like me. Oh, and they're making it trickier, making it smaller. Oh. Okay. We got this. Don't worry, man. We got this. It's not that scary of a frog. What? Okay, that was bullshit. <laughs> I'm calling it there. That was definite hacks. Back on top, and we're gonna try to make our way across. And hopefully, this little motherfucker doesn't just like come out of nowhere and do nothing like he did last time. Pure hacks, by the way. Okay, we got there. Oh, what's that squishy sound? Ugh. Okay, can he see me up here? Oh yeah, yeah, he can. Oh, look at how smart I am. Hey, stupid ass. Don't ask me how I got the gear after I knocked it off his head because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Where the hell am I and where did I get here? Direct the beam into the hole. That's what she said? <laughs> Let's talk to Dr. Brown here. Day 113. We have finally synthesized the Alpha Crystal, an industrial sample for municipal power supply. To operate power transmission, we created K1PR, a robot with an enhanced computational unit. This robot will guarantee a better future for all of us. For further experiments, the laboratory will be relocated to the Mountain Province. Woot woot. Got us go making all progress and shit. Uh, so if I was this little thing... Uh, okay, wait. Maybe we should put the beam somewhere else? Do I need to... No. I thought there was a way that you could get the beam started, so it must be... Oh yeah, it's over here. That's why. <laughs> so if we rotate that to... Okay, that's as far as it can go. Does this not do anything? Oh, wait. No, go back the other way. No, this way. There. Oh my god. What a pain in the ass that was. Okay, so how do I get into this thing? I don't. So does this thing stop working now? So there's a thing that's there, but I wish this thing would... Oh wait, there it is. Hang on, you saw it. Nope, not there. Oh, 
Oh my god. Come on, go back. There. Okay, okay, okay. So, do we... And it closes. Well, I can't break the window. Okay, wait a minute. What the hell am I holding on the flower pot for? So I think that would work. But I don't know how it's gonna work <laughs> because we got this stupid gate open, but how the hell do I keep it open? Because I can't rotate these things. So yeah, I can't put that one all the way through. And there. See, it's burning through that hole, but how the hell do I get this damn thing open? Uh, oh wait, the only thing I can think of. Oh my god, just fucking go where it's gotta go. Okay. Take this. That's why. Got it. And there. Okay, so now we got that going to where it's gotta go. Uh, did we line up those mirrors right? I think one of them's off. Yeah, it was this one. No. Okay, that makes no sense whatsoever, but whatever. Kenny, the force beam is back. Yay! Wait a second. We've got a problem. Oh shit. Is he dead? Oh no. Hey, I'm okay with that, man. He did bad things Even to me. Even though Kenny managed to redirect the beam towards the city, he could no longer get in touch with the keeper. Oh. No matter how hard he tried. In the end. He had no other choice but to venture forth to the last power station inside the crater of the dormant volcano. Well, shit, you know it's not going to be dormant. To superstition, but now he felt nothing but deep unease. He was on the brink of unraveling a mystery. Something that a little rusty robot just wasn't supposed to know. For all that, Kenny was full of determination to walk this road to the end. And we are going to walk that road to the end in the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the series still. If you are, show me some love and hit that like button for me. And if you haven't hit the sub button yet, make sure you do that before you go. You get to see at least three videos every single day. Take care. Very simple.